I'm working on the yellow bench now. I have painted it with mixtures of my cadmium yellow medium plus mud, which is alizarin crimson plus ultramarine blue for my shadows. This is pure cadmium yellow medium. This is cadmium yellow medium with a little bit of white mixed in and then this is the little brightest areas are cadmium yellow medium with a little bit of lemon yellow plus white. Now I'm going to do the little gecko design on the back of this. And I'm using the my darkest shade of the mud plus cadmium yellow medium. I'm also bracing on the mall stick. This again, this hooks over the top of the canvas. We got that at the container store. It's used actually used to take clothes off of a tall rack in clothing showrooms. It makes a perfect mall stick, so I just rest my arm against that to steady my hand as I paint. Because this little fellow is hard to... he's got pretty details. Little fine details. So I just paint this right over the wet paint of the back of the bench. Uh, get his little body in here. Kind of wiggly things. And then I'm going to let his tail curl around. Now I have already drawn my little oval in there. Now we're going to do his legs. Back leg there. Back leg there. I have to make his head a little bit smaller. His head's a little bit big, so I just use some of my cadmium yellow medium. I can come back in and just paint around that darker color and make his head a little bit smaller. He's got his arms here. And now his toes, I, they're just dots. Do three toes on the front and four on the back. I don't know if that's anatomically correct or not, but it makes for a good little design. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to brace my hand on the unpainted part of the canvas. I can get a little bit closer. And I just put those little dots. I'm using a fine liner brush. This is actually a sign painting brush. And this is almost as old as I am. Jack had a collection of these that um, he did. He worked with a sign painter when he was in college. And I hate to tell you this, but he graduated in 1955, which was the year after I was born. We had a little bit of an age difference, but it was just incredibly amazing how similar we were and how well we got along. We just were blessed with an incredible relationship. Okay, now I'm going to make his back toes. I'm going to do four. I think I've got room. I may have to paint out a little bit of this leg and give, give a little more room for the toes. Lift that leg, move it up just a little bit. He's just climbing up the back of that chair. But I love these little geckos. They're just a fun southwestern design and fun little detail to add into paintings. My hand is not cooperating. I just it's not going exactly where I want it. I'm going to get a little bit bigger brush right here, and I'm going to paint out that with my cadmium yellow medium. Make one more pass on this. Okay, now we're going to try that again. That's the joy of oil painting. You just go back, paint over, scrape off, whatever you want to do. OK. 
Okay, let's make those toes again. This leg. Two. There. There's his four toes. Now let's move this. I did not do that very well. Again, I'm just correcting that line with my cadmium yellow medium. There we go. Now we'll make his other toes here. Okay, this leg comes up, down. This one goes one, two. There are his toes. Now his tail, I'm going to curl that around, but I'm going to make it dip a little bit lower. So I just paint that out with my cadmium yellow medium again. Let that tail dip down into that oval a little bit more. Sometimes these lines you just have to work a little bit to get them to do exactly what you want. Paint around. Okay, you just Fix this oval here. And it's really easy to pull this into that wet paint of the back of the bench. Couldn't do this if the back was dry. It would be too hard to make a smooth line. And you can see how that does. I'm going to fix his head. I want his head to be a little bit more diamond shaped. more circular. Okay, I'm going to come back and again I can just paint around. Let's bring his shoulders down a little bit. And that's my little gecko on the southwestern bench. Now the back of the bench is boards. So I'm going to let the light hit the top of these boards. Let's see, there's the bottom of the back. So we're going to have a board, let's see, halfway there. So we're going to have four boards. One, two, three. This other one's kind of hidden behind here. So we just bring these lines over. And that other one's hidden behind the arm. I'm going to highlight this a little bit more. Again, this goes through the design. And back here it's darker because this is in shadow, so that highlight is darker. Okay. There's our little gecko design on our southwestern bench. I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I have a blog where I show the step-by-step -step process of this painting from start to finish. The address is in the description below the video. I also have it on the final frame of the video. So I appreciate you following my videos and please feel free to ask questions. I'll be happy to answer them, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.